Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and today we're going to be going over a quick update that's coming out to the JP side of Dokum Battle, and this has to do with the training system that they currently have in place. Um, as you all know, current training system they have in place is kind of uh, subpar, at least compared to the, how we're using the system now, and the type of characters that are out now. Back in the day before, we had LRs and Transcendent Ultra Rares, the system was great. Even with Transcendent Ultra Rares, it was still kind of useful, but now with all the LRs that are out and the amount of characters you have to train, it's kind of a pain in the butt because you have to use so many damn items in order to get a part of uh, uh, an actual card up to uh, level 100 if you're trying you know, when you're trying to get them leveled up uh, so go, i want to go ahead and thank colossus and z real quick for making this reddit post now i don't know why i never got the actual uh, notification from twitter when the um, official jp twitter announced it don't know why maybe i just overlooked and cleared it out because i have a lot of notifications coming on my phone uh, but you know, thank you for making this Reddit post because now I knew, now I know what's going on. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and go over the system. I have the actual Twitter open right now, so we're going to go ahead and let that play in the background while I start talking about this. Um, so I'm going to go over his post step by step, and this is going to go ahead and play. Um, so the first one is we're going to be getting an update. The auto select of training items, we can actually now, you know how you automatically can select what training partners you want to have uh, with the little auto select button. Now you can actually select a button for the amount of training items you want to use. And I don't know how smart the system actually is, but I'm pretty sure it's smart enough where it's not going to let you go over the amount of items that you actually need to get your actual card up to its max level. It's going to utilize all the items that you need to utilize, and it kind of looks like uh, a little bit earlier, you're going to see this in later on in the video. It looks like it uses the smallest training items first, then goes to the largest, so that way you're using your smaller items over your, your more important items. So that's cool. Um, training um, your training characters, now you only are required to use items. You technically do not need to have a character in the slot. Um, and as you guys just saw before, actually, um, there's also the, the slot on the top when you actually go to select a character. It tells you which characters give you a super attack level up or a chance of a super attack level up. So that's freaking awesome. So now you don't gotta go searching for your freaking characters. Um, multiple I training items can be used as you also just saw. You can use up to 10 um, items per slot um, for uh, on a single training session. So you can technically use up to 50 training items per session, which is freaking great. Uh, change in the training location effect. Uh, so before or how it is currently now, experience increase per training partner. And now that has changed to experience has increased per training partner and training item time. So as you can see on the screen right now, you have 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. If you were to use something like Corrin's Tower, Kami's Lookout, Snakeway, or Supreme Kai's Planet, that should give you experience per item and per card or per character, which is amazing because now it actually brings them relevance again because the only one out of all of them that actually had relevance was Supreme Kai's Planet. Um, and the Zenny required for training has changed. Before, Zenny required was dependent on the level of the character. For example, level 1 character required 100 Zenny per training partner or training item. Level 50 required about 5,000 Zenny per training partner per training item. So that has now changed to the level of the character will not decide the amount of Zenny. And each training item has a fixed cost to use now. For example, Turtle Rock 100 Zenny per Turtle Run, uh, per Turtle Rock, I'm sorry. And Sacred Water is 800 Zenny per Sacred Water. Uh, now, Again, we don't have all the numbers, but this is what's going to be coming out, so uh, this is going to be good. I hope this hits global sooner than later. Uh, that's the, the new system that's going to be coming out. We don't have a date yet. It's on the official Twitter. I'm going to leave the status there, and I'm going to leave a link to the Reddit below. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new here and covering more information when this comes out. And um, stay tuned, because I'm going to be doing my uh, LR Zamasu video later today, or LR Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose and Zamasu video. Thank you guys, hit that sub button if you're new here, and I'll catch you in the next video.